Hey everybody, Brandon Mason here with Eastman's and in this review we are taking a comprehensive look at the Outdoor Edge Razor Safe series. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell, turn that on so that we can send you reviews that are helpful just like this. Now here at Eastman's we've been using Outdoor Edge knives exclusively for over eight years, almost a decade, we've been running these knives. And every single year, Outdoor Edge comes out with something newer, greater purpose-built knives, if you will. That's one of the benefits of being an outdoor company that's owned by a, a hunter, by an outdoorsman. David Block, who's the founder and owner of Outdoor Edge, he's a hunter, and so he gets it. He knows what we're looking for. And so many of you have seen some variety of these knives in our subscription offers that you can get for free when you subscribe to our magazines or to our online research tool, which is called Tag Hub. But some of these you've only seen us do in, in reviews individually, but there's been some updates to some of the uh, holsters and packaging. There's also been some updates as to the knife blade offering. So we're gonna get into it and we're gonna look at each and every one of these. So the first knife in the Razor Safe series that Outdoor Edge debuted was, I believe, just over eight years ago. And it's called the Razor Light. And this one is in a black holster, but uh, Outdoor Edge recently updated some of their holster lines to include an option where you can get the holsters that you'll see in these two variations, which I'll show you in just a second, in Cryptic Highlander camouflage. Which kind of a nice variety to have, another option to have while you're in the field. But anyway, the original replaceable blade knife by Outdoor Edge was the Razor Light. Now the blade length is a three and a half inch, what they call a drop point blade. And when you see drop point blade on the Outdoor Edge website or in a store, that simply means the main blade that was originally designed to go in the blade holder. That's this, that, that is this black portion that holds the, the blade of, on all of these knives for a secure fit. And you see this little silver button here? You push this button, it easily comes out, and when you push it back in very carefully so you don't cut yourself, you hear the click, and that means it's secure. And you can use this with or without the holster. The holster is kind of nice because it comes with your extra blades. One of the things that I love about all of these Outdoor Edge knives in the Razor Safe series is that they have the replaceable blade feature. And so when you're busy processing an animal in the field, sometimes you don't have the time or maybe even the know-how to properly sharpen a knife. And so you can quickly interchange the blades. You don't need to take all of the extra four or five blades that come with some of these knives on every hunt, but you could take a couple extra. In fact, I have routinely boned out an entire elk with just one blade without sharpening it. They hold their edge right to the very end. And a little secret, they also offer a knife sharpener that you can take with you that I actually keep in my pack all the time and it's extremely lightweight. We'll put a link to that sharpener in the description below as well as to where you can find all these products on OutdoorEdge.com. But most of the time I prefer not to sharpen my knives in the field. And But if I do forget to bring my extra blades with me or if I forgot to stop at the store to buy more, I always have that little lightweight uh, sharpener, just a few ounces in my pack. And with many of these, Outdoor Edge also offers a three inch variation. Um, if you wanna go ultra light and, and just a little bit shorter blade, that, that half an inch shorter blade, it, it's, it's amazing at how much smaller that actually looks when you're holding them side by side. But either one will do the job in the field. And we're gonna take a look at the next product in the line. So this is kind of a succession. I have these laid out in order, basically chronologically. Um, Outdoor Edge also came out with one that's very similar to this. So they have a, you notice this black handle, you can get them in black and orange and, and some other colors depending on the year. This is a rubberized handle that it really has a good grip to it. So if your hands get wet with moisture or blood, they're not going to slip off and you're not going to have an accident in the field. The next is the Razor Light EDC. EDC, as everybody knows, just stands for everyday carry. It flips out the same, same blade holder, same blades are interchangeable between these. Close it up and look at the back. There is the clip that goes right on your pocket or on your pack or wherever you want to house it. This one is actually one of the lighter knives in the line because it has this, this kind of a plastic grivery handle with the inlaid rubberized grips. 
that's similar to this hole handle, but having the grips only in a portion of the knife handle saves actually quite a bit of weight. I mean, quite a bit of weight. We're talking tenths of ounces here. You can feel the weight difference, and if you're a minimalist, an ounce counter, you might want to look at this one because it is lighter. And it also comes with an extra blade pack. I think this one comes with an extra uh, five blades. So there's six blades total that it comes with. And also, again, different color variations that you can get in the handle. Obviously, here at Eastman's, we kind of prefer orange, partially because it's involved in some of our colors with our logos, but also it's easy to find in the field. This one's not going to blend in. I'm not going to lose it. And for me, I lose everything, so I need all the help I can get. We're going to move to the third one, which is called the Razor Pro. And what Outdoor Edge did is they took the Razor Light, the original, and also added in the skinning blade that they have in their Swing Blaze series, which is a more permanent blade knife that was really popular, and I still love using that knife too on different occasions, holds its edge remarkably well. But you have your normal flip out knife, uh, the replaceable blade, three and a half inch drop point blade, and you have the blade holder, you got the lock right here. And then the cool part is on the other side, you have this skinning tool that allows you to, I, I generally, when I'm processing animals on the field, I start at the base of the spine and I rip a cut all the way down to the tail and then I rip down this quarter and down this quarter. And you'll see this on some of our videos that we've done on YouTube. Like butter. And on our TV show where we show you how to field process animals in a very quick manner, whether that's boning them out completely off the bone or quick quartering them, the process for initially getting to the meat's the exact same. And this handy blade makes that process of, of ripping down the hide, down the backbone, down the legs extremely fast. And another added benefit is that, that so this one locks right there. We're going to push that to the side and close it. But another added benefit is that it saves on the edge of this blade, cutting through all that thick hide and sometimes hair along the spine and down the legs. And so this blade, once you actually get to the meat, um, will actually last a lot longer and you won't have to worry about replacing a blade as quickly or sharpening as quickly as you would if you didn't have this handy blade on there. So this has quickly become one of the office favorites. I know Ike Eastman says this is his favorite knife that he takes in the field. Now there's a little bit of a weight penalty, not much, about an ounce uh, heavier than, uh, than uh, these other ones, but, but the weight penalty I think is worth it. And again, when I'm talking about the weights of the knives, I'm talking about the weight of the knife with the single blade in it. Obviously they're going to weigh more once you weigh the sheath and the extra blades, and there's a little instructional packet in there too that you can you know, either discard or keep in there for when you're in the field. Okay, so we're moving on. The next one that we have here in this Cryptic package, this was the first in the Razor Safe series that had a fixed blade on there. Not a permanent blade, it's a replaceable blade system, but it's a fixed blade, and it's kind of a compression fit in this sheath, and you can see a difference between this blade length and this blade length, they came out with a boning or a fillet blade that fits that same blade holder and pops in the same way. You hear the click, you know it's in. So this one doesn't fold. It still has the grip right here to get some extra grip when you're cutting and everything. But the cool part is this also has a blade box for carrying extra blades, which just pops right open. You'll see there. And it can hold extra three and a half inch drop point blades or extra fillet or boning blades depending on what you call them. In fact we processed an elk that my son shot in 2019 with this blade and having that extra blade length on that fillet blade is really nice when you're doing an elk particularly when you're cutting the back straps off because when you're doing an, uh, a deer or an antelope you know the back straps you know they end up being you know about that long and they're only about that big around where an elk, you get a backstrap like that and it's almost the length of a deer body. It's pretty massive. And if you've never elk hunted before, you'll know what I mean when you get one on the ground. It, it is, you know, their anatomy is built the same, but just times three the size of everything else that's out there in the field, except for moose. So anyway, it has this handy sheath, not only for the knife, 
but also a front sheath that can be removed with these Velcro straps to carry your extra blades in and also your, the blade box. Okay, so now we're gonna move to the next knife in the line. This one was called the Razor Max. This one is called the Razor Bone. What Outdoor Edge did is they lengthened the handle a little bit so that it allowed for that long five inch fillet blade to be down in the handle and then it folds. It's a little more compact. You can see that case compared to the Razor Max case compared to the Razor Bone case. You know, this is quite a bit shorter, it saves more room in your pack. And in addition, Outdoor Edge in this knife series, not only do, did they add the five inch fillet blade and they have, like I said, the, the standard three and a half inch drop point blade, but they also added a gutting blade, which you will see right there. And that hooks in the exact same way into that blade holder. And now this essentially can function essentially like that blade on the Razor Pro, but in a replaceable blade format. And so you can buy any of these blades on the Outdoor Edge uh, website, OutdoorEdge.com, and in tons of places online, and also dealers like Walmart and others. A lot of sporting goods stores carry them. And so you can use this. You don't need as many of these because you're not doing as much cutting, but you can replace those too. They get dull. You can discard the blade once you get uh, back in from the field. Of course, you don't want to leave them laying out in the field. Put them safely in your pack. You can put them back in the plastic pouches once they're dull and replace them with a sharp one and off you go. So this is perfect for ripping up those legs down the spine, especially on the thinner skinned animals like on pronghorn. This makes short work of uh, processing a pronghorn antelope. The, the names are interchangeable, they're the same animal, but it makes short work of processing them in the field. So that is the razor bone. Now, last but not least, the newest addition to the razor safe family is what is called the razor work. Now you're gonna see something quite a bit different of this blade. You see how it's kind of squared off? Essentially, Outdoor Edge made a utility blade, and you can see that it's quite a bit longer than a standard utility blade for more surface cutting area, and it's only three inches. And so the drop point blade that's replaceable with this uh, utility blade is actually only a three inch uh, blade. So I'm going to show you the difference between the three inch and the three and a half inch here in just a second, like I referenced at the beginning of this video. I'm going to close that and you can see this is also an EDC and everyday carry type of a knife and it's ultra lightweight. In fact, this is the lightest one in this review of the Razor Safe series. The, the three inch version of the standard EDC is just a little bit lighter, but not much. We're talking a tenth of an ounce maybe. And so as promised, I'm going to show you the difference between the three inch drop point standard knife blade that comes with the razor work, which is this last one we did. Take it out of the protective sheath there. And then I'm going to pull the three and a half inch blade out of one of the standard knives. And we're going to see the difference in size. I'm going to butt up the mounting holes there at the end. You can see those are lined up as if they would slide into the, sh into the blade holder. And look at the difference in that size. So on the back here, that's the three and a half, and on the front is the three inch. So just a little bit different and just a little bit shorter blade. Again, it's just personal preference. Both do the job. I have processed animals as large as elk and caribou with um, the three inch blade as well as the three and a half inch blade. So both work great. One thing to note um, is that the three inch blades and the three and a half inch blades are not interchangeable with the knives that are designed to hold those size of blades. They just won't work in these blade holders. They're different lengths. In fact, we'll show you that real quick too. Pull this out of the razor work and you can see the difference there. It's quite a bit. And so where this drop point essentially clips into there. It just won't fit the three inch into the three and a half and the three and a half inch into three. So you just need to pick the size that you want to run with and buy extra blades. And, you know, after you go through the blades that come with the extra blades that come with the knives and all their packaging, 
and uh, use them in the field. And I can promise you through years of use, through I don't even know how many animals that we've processed in the field and through with our whole crew, you will not be disappointed with any of these knives that you get from Outdoor Edge. And the best part is they're not gonna break the bank either. Outdoor Edge makes knives that are extremely affordable, extremely user-friendly. You can find them at almost any hardware store, any big box store, any mom and pop pro shop. You can find them online. They're, they've kind of become the, the 30 out six of the knife world, if you will. You know, the joke about 30 out sixes is that you can buy the rifle in any hardware store or gas station pretty much across the country. And that's the way these knives are. They're extremely efficient, they're lightweight, they get the job done. And the biggest challenge is holding on to them once your friends or outfitters, if you hunt with outfitters, see them. Because I can't tell you how many knives I've given away to friends, family, outfitters on different hunts. And they're like, man, I got to get one of those. So I just give them mine and I buy another one. So there you have it. That's a pretty comprehensive review on the Razor Safe series from Outdoor Edge. They do have a few other options, as I mentioned, in the three inch size and also in a style called the Onyx, which is even a lighter weight handle than the EDC. It doesn't have any of the rubberized handle in there. Uh, so go check those out at OutdoorEdge.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell. Turn that on so that we can send you reviews that are helpful just like this to help you be more efficient and more successful in the field.